Okay guys, it is time for fact time number three. So today I actually want to talk about something we haven't even brushed up on yet, and that's a kind of mammal like us. Um, and I want to specifically talk about primates. We are primates, monkeys are primates, apes are primates, and um, we're actually an ape primate. Um, but there's a little bit of confusion about apes and monkeys, and I wanted to touch on that briefly. Um, and this is hopefully something you guys can, you know, carry with you and and remember next time you go to the zoo, for example. Um, so I unfortunately don't have a whole ton of models in this topic, so I'm going to have to use some of my books, but that's okay. As you see, I have quite a few. And this first one I'm going to show you here is a textbook, and I spent over $300 for this in college, so it should be useful here. I might as well make use of it. Um, so what we have are just some photographs of some apes here and some monkeys. And this may help you see some of the differences. Um, so if you look at the top, um, these two photos show Old World and, and New World monkeys here. And you have the New World monkeys right here and the Old World monkeys right here. And that just means Old and New World, um, you know, the Old World is what's considered the Old World via Europe. Um, and so that would have been everything they knew of before they discovered um, North America um, and South America, before they discovered the Americas. Um, so that, um, when you're looking at New World, deals with mostly South American and Central American monkeys. And we're looking at Old World, things like from Africa or you know any other place in the Old World. And then down here we have a gorilla, um, some chimps, some bonobos, an orangutan, and a gibbon. Um, the gibbon is the one that might look a little bit unusual sitting right here. Um, so I know you've looked at some of those pictures now as much as you can see them. I'm sorry, I don't have um, the greatest photographs there. Um, but what's the difference? Now I hear people saying like, oh, look at that monkey, or they'll see a gorilla in the zoo. Look at that monkey over there. And gorillas are amazing. I adore them so much. But they're not monkeys. There are differences. Um, now we're all primates, us, gorillas, chimpanzees, old new world monkeys, um, you know, spider uh, monkeys, um, you know, what, whatever kind of monkey you can come up with, we're all primates. So a uh, primatologist studies primates and all of these animals, including us, happen to be primates. So monkey, the, the best way to think of it is when you're looking at something, is it a monkey or is it just, you know, a primate or an ape? You know, not, is it like an ape primate um, or is it a monkey primate? Tail. Look at the tail. If it has a tail, it's a monkey. If it does not have a tail, what you're looking at is an ape like us. Now, we're the kind of ape which we call hominids. Um, that is a little different. That's more in the human range. There are other hominids, though. We know a lot of fossil examples. Um, so we're not the only hominids. Um, but when you're looking at um, animals that you expect to see still living in the wild, you're going to be dealing with things that are apes and not necessarily hominids all the time. Um, so... Um, do, do a little experiment for yourself. Think, okay, um, look at this little monkey swinging from its tail. Okay, that is a monkey for sure. And look at this guy over here. Um, there's this um, big male silverback gorilla. And look at this lady over here. There's this um, big female gorilla right with him. Um, they don't have tails. They are four. Um, that means they are not monkeys. They are apes. Um, so that would mean things like chimpanzees. Um, they are not monkeys, they're apes, and this is a, um, a book I'm very happy to own. Um, it's a first edition of Jane Goodall's um, In the Shadow of Man. Um, and you can see all the chimpanzees that she worked with there. She's got all their names and all their faces in the family tree. Um, I highly recommend looking at anything, um, any of the chimpanzee research by Jane Goodall. Um, and I've got a photo here that we can look at. There are a whole bunch of, bunch of chimpanzees resting in a tree there. And then gorillas, that's another one. Um, so you've probably heard of Gorillas in the Mist. There was a movie called that. Um, you know, it, 
as movies go, there are some liberties, but overall I think Sigourney Weaver did an excellent job at playing Diane Fossey, and this is the book that inspired the movie, and this is actual research here. You can see similarly, um, we've also got the names and the faces of the family and, and gorillas that are in this book, which you can view somewhat as a story, but it's more of a science book, I would say, uh, but a very readable one. Um, you can see some great photos of gorillas here. And you don't see any tails there. I know their butts aren't particularly prominent in those photographs. Um, and then again, we were talking about some fossil animals. So that would include things like Lucy and any human ancestor um, that is a hominid or an ape fits within the primates. So there you go with that as well. Um, and I did not have the best photographs of monkeys, but uh, thanks to the Phoenix Zoo and their guidebook, a wonderful zoo, by the way, I'd recommend them. Um, you can see a little monkey right there. Um, you can see that, and that is a squirrel monkey. So let's get a little bit closer view. I'm sorry, I'm totally like uh, um, not doing a very uh, generational, my generational job here. I'm just sticking things in the camera and go ahead and laugh. Uh, one day I'll get better at videos here and learn how to actually edit them. And then thanks to the San Diego Zoo's guidebook here, um, we've got some orangutans. I didn't feel right to actually leave those ones out since they're well known um, to the public um, and to the general person, but I didn't have any great um, books on them. Uh, when you have uh, Jane Goodall who studies chimpanzees and then you had um, Diane Fossey who studied gorillas, you also have Baruta Galdicus who studies um, orangutans. I don't have any of her books on hand unfortunately. They're all on my wish list though, so maybe one day. Um, hopefully that does help a little bit though. Um, I'm sorry again I don't have models. As far as I can get with models about this topic, uh, I'm gonna have to be helped out by a friend here. <sighs> Meet Kong. This is my friend Kong, and this is a, a nice, quite large figure. Um, this is from the film, uh, the 2017 film, Kong Skull Island. Um, I had to have it because it was the then the only figure of Kong from that film. Now they're working on some, actually. Um, but you can see that this one is kind of in between a hominid and a standard gorilla, um, quite similar to the Kong in the original 1933 film. Um, but this hopefully does not make this video in SFW, um, but let's look in the back. So you can see here, pardon the Kong booty, there is no tail here. So therefore, just by looking at this, if you knew nothing else, you would know that this animal is an ape. It is not a monkey. They are primates. Again, all of them are primates, but inside the group you have apes and monkeys. Um, and another one that often seems like a stumper is a baboon. Baboons actually have tails, so those are considered monkeys. We, even though we have a small little tailbone back here, really small, um, there are the muscles that attach there and things, so um, it's a helpful little bone, um, but it's not actually protruding, and that makes us just by definition, um, or rather by analysis and looking at, if you knew nothing about a human, if an alien came here after watching this video, it'd be able to spot a human and say, hmm, that is not a monkey, that is an ape. All right, so hopefully this was useful for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and thanks so much. If you have any questions, let me know again. Thank you.